about today. This is this is not really AI, although I, I guess it could be. Uh, but vis-a-vis the whole thing going on in Israel, and we've all you just watched CNN. You can see the rockets take off. I'm shocked that we don't have technology and that Israel doesn't have technology through drones or satellites or whatever that can instantly pinpoint where the launch came from and instantly launch a rocket to take it out. That just seems that that doesn't even seem like 2023 technology. That seems like 2010 technology. I wonder uh, I'm only I'm only thinking out loud because I know that they have the Iron Dome and they can intercept a lot of those rockets with that. I wonder how much of how many of those rockets are just hand fired and people leave. Like right. it's not a stationary position. Good point. It's boom, gone. And now by the time you would get anything there, they're 10 miles hospital. down the road. Right, right. right. Good right. point. Yeah, one, you- one of the major advances actually in AI is, is the new optical facial recognition and voice recognition. So that's something that I'm sure the military is going to be all over where you have cameras on drones or cameras on walls in the in Israeli case where you can pinpoint people and say, all right, this is a bad guy. Get ready for whatever he she's going to do. I think that's that kind that type of assistance with AI is going to be more than just a camera and somebody watching. Yeah, what's, I'm not what's happening. trying to be silly here, but they they have that in movies. Like when I watch military movies or CIA sure. movies, they're like, okay, yep, that's George Rosenthal. We can tell he's a bad guy. Hit him. Yeah. So you'd hope that we have that. Uh, what do you have for us today? Well, the big thing is is that everybody can enjoy as of t- right now is GPT's advancements. So they have updated their database through January of 2022, which is great because it used to be September of 21. But now they've added some really fascinating things. They can it can now see, hear, and speak. So yay. Uh huh. <laughs> so Chad GPT I'm gonna go pack my suitcase. Is- <laughs> Is no longer just. Where are you going? There's nowhere to go. <laughs> yeah, I'm, well, uh, exactly. I mean, you can't escape this. Space. So it's now like the Echo or the Google Home. But even more fascinating is the the example they have on OpenAI's website. Anybody can go out today and you, and download this. And also, if you don't have the OpenAI Chat GPT app on your phone, go get it. It's a, it's a fascinating app to use. But now it's even more powerful. The the example they gave is they took a picture of a bicycle and said, "How do I lower the seat on the bicycle?" and they used the picture and said, well, with your particular model, here is the instructions to do so. Then it said, then they took a picture and said, well, is this the part you're talking about? And circled it. It noticed the part and said, no, 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 that's not a lever. That's the bolt you're supposed to untie with an Allen wrench. So then they took a picture of the instruction manual and a picture of the tools that were laying in the guy's driveway, uploaded it to ChatGPT and said, can I use this? And if so, which tool in my toolbox will help me solve this problem to lower the seat? And it actually analyzed the toolbox, read the instruction manual, and said, oh, yeah, the, uh, the four-millimeter Allen wrench is in the lower left-hand corner with the Walt on it. Pick that up and use the fourth one in. I mean, that is where you're interacting with AI using pictures to solve problems. And it, on top of that, it's all now voice activated. So you can talk to it just like an Echo or Google Home, but it's so much smarter than what you have at Google Home and what you have in Echo. So, here's, okay, here's what's interesting to me personally. As I'm listening to my friend George talk and he's telling me this, you know what I'm thinking? I swear to God, I'm fantasizing that it's 1840 and I'm tilling a field with a mule and my wife brings me a cool drink of water. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, I yearn for simpler days. Like, this stuff, maybe it shouldn't scare me. But it scares me. It, yeah, I mean, I can understand why it would scare you. I mean, you have a, you're uploading a picture to a thing that is in the cloud somewhere, and it's telling you to use the tool that's in the lower left hand corner based okay. on a picture. I mean, that's fascinating. It's crazy. We're at the end of the segment. I'm going to ask you the biggest question sure, in AI. Sure. But what's the difference between this knowing everything and being able to use logic and figure stuff out and see things and hear things and have conversations? What's the difference between that? And being sentient, what is the 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 line you cross? So sentient is thinking on its own. We're talking complete thought on its own, coming up with its own, recognizing problems, coming up with its own resolutions, and then acting upon them. So whereas this, what I we're talking about is, I have to put an input of a picture of a bicycle, ask it a question in text, it get an answer, take that answer, turn around, ask for a more detailed answer. These are things where the the human is inputting constant data and getting feedback on what all it's doing is comparing and using math to basically figure out that answer based on all the information it has. Sentient is going to start coming up with its own thing, its own ideas, its own inventions, and, and implementing them in a way that we've never thought of before. 
I mean, it's it's that is when you get to quantum computing, and that's still a decade away. That's 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 okay, not. Can I ask you another one? Sure. So we hit that in fifteen years. Mm-hmm. How do we have anything resembling a normal life in thirty years? Well, that's a great question. I mean, the, the the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase just said they're implementing AI into every facets of their financial world, including trading and everything else. He His exact quote was, every single process, every trade, imagine your children will live to 100, not have cancer, and only work three days a week. Well, I mean, that's where like that's where you're trading. Going. I've never been a big trader, but... It seems ridiculous at this point for me to look at Merrill Lynch stock or J.P. Morgan Chase right. stock and go, hmm, I like the leadership. <laughs> when you've got AI blah, 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 yes. and doing all these gazillions of computations and yes. investing perfectly. Exactly, yeah. And giving you, based on years and years and years of data that, that it can algorithmically figure out. That we can't out. even come close to touching. Correct. As yeah. an individual with an individual brain. And that's what he's saying is that's where we're going. We're going to a place where you work three days a week, there is no more cancer, and you live to 100 plus, and basically AI is involved in everything you do, including re- something as simple as making and dinner with I'm a picture in your fridge. I'm not even trying to be funny here. I think yeah. that it's either that or we are their pets. <laughs> I don't see much in the middle. I, I really, really don't. I agree with you. I agree. It's, you're right. Yeah. I do good tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'll do more than you'll ever think about doing. So that's uh, throttlenet.com slash DGS. Thank you, George. Appreciate Thank you. it. Appreciate it.